All right, guys, I am back. Hang on, let me lock my exposure and my white balance so that it doesn't shift around that much. Let me also increase my lighting just a little bit. Ah, much better. Welcome back, guys. This segment is about light modifiers and light shapers. And uh, just to refresh your memory, in a few episodes back, we talked about 5-in-1 reflectors and diffusion material. Basically, this big device over here, which allows you to soften light, bounce light, and basically shape the light. But today, I'm also going to talk to you about one additional uh, light modifier, which I think everyone should have even before this. Okay, But let me rephrase. This is a light modifier. That means it is going to change your light. This is a light modifier too, but it has one additional feature. This is also a reflector. That means if you don't have lights or you, if you have existing lighting, basically the sun, you can use it to redirect the sunlight. This device I'm going to show you only works with lighting fixtures. It is not a reflector. And that device is called an umbrella. This is a photography umbrella. It is used for studio shoots and photography shoots. And how this works is actually very simple. Uh, just give me a moment, let me pull in a softbox for you. This is a photography or photographic strobe. Okay? This is a flash unit. This is a flash unit over here, and there is a softbox in front. And what a softbox does is it diffuses the light, softens the light, and sends it out in a controlled fashion. Okay? But softboxes are impractical. They are big, they are bulky, and they are hard to carry around. So what some people do is they actually just carry the flash and a couple of umbrellas. And what the umbrella does is, by the way, the umbrellas can break down into parts like this. This is a diffusion umbrella. Let me show you. That's a diffusion umbrella, all right? And if you look carefully, it looks pretty much in similar function to that diffusion material as well, all right? The light shines through the umbrella and softens the lighting, okay? Now, the umbrella very often sits underneath or in front of the strobe, okay? The flash fires, goes through the diffusion material, and softens the light. Why do I like umbrellas? Check this out. When I am done, I fold it up and I put it in the bag. That's it. This guy, I need to fold, I need to keep it, I need to dismantle the stand, I need to do all sorts of stuff. It's a little bit slower to be up and running. Okay. More importantly, and this one <laughs> you won't believe, but I love umbrellas because they literally are umbrellas. So if I'm on a photo shoot and it starts to rain and I need to run away, I don't need to carry a second umbrella. <laughs> I just use this and I'll go. And I usually, usually carry three umbrellas of different sizes for my photography or videography shoots. Okay? These were invented for, for photography use, but nowadays you can even use this for video as well. Why? Simple. The lighting used for a lot of video shoots for uh, today is LED based. That means it is not hot at all. It's not going to burn. If you were using HMI bulbs like the olden days, those guys are 10,000, 15,000, 5,000 watts. They are hot. All right. Think about it. Think about it this way: a kettle boils water. All right. That kettle uses a thousand watts, one thousand watts of power. A 10,000 watt lamp is 10 kettles. Can you imagine the heat that is coming out of that? Yeah, this guy is going to melt, all right? Which is why this is only used for strobes. Strobes are not on all the time. They just burst of power at 1 over 100 of a second. They never get hot, but very intense. LED fixtures like today, like this one over here, can actually diffuse the light Okay, let me, let me just block the light. Let me come closer. All right, that is harsh. 
see direct the light is hitting me direct and this is diffused okay you can see that it is much softer much more appealing oh too strong all right so this is a diffusion umbrella uh, it costs anywhere from uh, Depending on the size, right? It costs from 30 ringgit to about 120 ringgit. The 120 ringgit umbrellas are huge, big, okay? This one is the medium size one, I think cost me about 60 bucks, okay? Now, these umbrellas are also pretty cool because I can dismantle this translucent uh, sheet and replace it with this really, really opaque material. Can you see this? This is like your original umbrella, all right? One side is black, and the internal, so the inside, is silver, all right? So if you put this on, or if you replace this sheet, this top covering here, what's going to happen is we are going to have a silver coating on the inside. Now, this umbrella is a reflective light source. That means the light bounces in and shoots back out. Why do we do that? It makes the light even softer. Okay, Shooting the light through as a diffuser, it's soft, but there is a certain level of harshness to it. If you use the other one and bounce the light back out, it is twice as soft. Okay, Pros and cons, guys. When you use a diffusion uh, material, the light output of your lamp is cut by half. All right? So if you're using your camera and you're shooting at aperture 4, if you use a diffusion, you're going to need to open your aperture up two times. That means from 4, it goes down to 2 or 1.8. All right? If I use that reflective version, it is cut by 4. That means if I was shooting in f4, I have to open up to 0. Point something, which is impossible. All right? So be aware that when you use these kind of diffusion materials and these reflective materials, you need to change your aperture settings. Okay? The light is going to be reduced. So here's the question. Why do we do that? Simple. Look at this lighting here. It's very harsh, it's very strong, and it's fine because you are watching me give you some information. This is a vlog, this is an expo piece, and this is a journalist giving you a talk. You are more interested in my words and in my rationale, in my explanation. But if you are doing photography or if you are doing videography and you are lighting a scene, you do not want the audience to know that there is light. You want the audience to see a scene and say, wow, that's a beautiful place. I want to be there. And that often means that you need to match the lighting with the surrounding ambiance. If the ambiance is soft, if it's a cafe style, if it is very warm, you need to know how to set the lights to match that ambiance. All right? Mastery of the lights is quality, quantity, and shape. Okay? Now, throughout the course of the, the years, all right, by the way, guys, these little explanations that I'm giving you are just little snippets okay, in the entire knowledge base of lighting. Okay? If I were to put everything into one video, it'll be a full Udemy or Udacity course, and it'll take you tens of hours. We will get there, all right? but I will make little, little snippets of useful information that you guys could use and go out buy stuff, borrow stuff, or adapt stuff. Umbrellas, 30 to 60 bucks. Please, if you can afford it, get some. But only get some of these fixtures if you have lighting. If you don't have lights and you are using the natural sunlight, get this guy. This guy comes first. All right, guys. All right, thank you. See you in the next video.